Dear Dr. Rader, My son Jake suffered a series of debilitating strokes following a rare brain infection which left him in a comatose state severely brain damaged. After all the doctors ran their many tests, they told us to discontinue any supportive medical treatment for Jake and pull the plug. Going against medical advice, we refused to take our son off life support. Dr. Rader agreed to treat Jake with fetal stem cells. 60 days following his first treatment, miraculously, Jake began to speak. Initially, just a few words, and then only within a few more weeks, he had progress to over 500 words. The progress we see in Jake continues to build every day with no regression. My son Jake calls the fetal stem cells miracle juice. Happy birthday, Dr. Ada. Dear Dr. Rader, we were told our child Beth would never be able to walk again due to spinal muscular atrophy. The prognosis was that she would continually get worse and that there was nothing known that could stop her deadly decline. We can never thank you enough, Dr. Rader, for proving them wrong. Look at her. She's standing all by herself. Dear Dr. Rader, Just a few hours after my son Robert was treated for his cerebral palsy, I was virtually levitated with excitement because of the miracles I was seeing. The first night, right after he went to bed, he said, Dr. Rader fixed me. Dear Dr. Rader, I have exciting and wonderful news. Aaron's seizures have diminished to just about zero. All of Aaron's therapists are amazed at his progress. More exciting news today, he got his new glasses. Pretty cool that he got glasses since his vision is coming back. The only way that his vision could be coming back is if that part of his brain is regenerating. Dear Dr. Rader, when Chris was four months old and we got his CT scan, we were told his life expectancy was nine months to one year max. Chris met our biggest goal on December the 18th, 2009. He had his first birthday. Thanks to the stem cell treatment you have given us our baby back, but most of all, you have given Mike and Jack their brother back. Dear Dr. Rader, I cannot begin to tell you how devastating it was for me to watch my precious son struggle to have just a teaspoon of food and then stand by helplessly as he would vomit. Since being treated with the fetal stem cells, I now have a completely different son. Alan's growth rate has increased to the 100th percentile. He is healthy, strong, and his body looks like a football player. What is most exciting is the improvements in his cognitive abilities. Alan was transferred to a regular school and graduated high school as an honor student. I'm so proud of him. Many thanks for your dedication to these children. Your efforts will always be remembered. You're about to see a tape of a four-year-old who should be in a wheelchair. But not only is he not in a wheelchair, he's running around the table chasing his siblings. That his lab studies have shown that something called CPK, which is indicative of muscle destruction, has dropped dramatically. His thick legs and calves because fat has filled the muscle with muscular dystrophy. The fat is no longer there, just muscle. That's a good boy. Come on. Shh, just go slow and you won't scare them. This one's the nicest kitty. This is Brody, today at age six. Brody suffers from muscular dystrophy, which is currently considered to be an incurable disease. Two years ago, he was not able to even walk without having a severe waddle from side to side, so noticeable that the elder children would point and laugh at him, calling him a duck. He was a very sad little boy watching the other children play and having the awareness that he would soon progress to leg braces, then a wheelchair, and finally could die as a teenager. 
Then the miracle occurred. Two years ago, Brody received fetal stem cells. Soon after that, he climbed up 30 stairs and became so excited that when he got to the top, he started clapping and jumping up and down and shouting, I did it, I did it. As you can see, over the past two years, the marbles kept coming without any falling back. We can go for a little walk. A little jog. Let's see if, if we can jog. I'll, I'll videotape you, okay? Let's go. Come on. Come on, Daddy. I'm coming. I'm right behind you, dude. Yeah, you are a little faster than me. That's pretty good jogging, dude. Hey, dude. His parents describe him as a very happy and witty child who once proudly told them, I am six and not in a wheelchair. I've proven all the doctors were wrong. Hi, I'm Sal Sophia, and I wanted to tell you a story about myself. I was uh, diagnosed with muscular dystrophy when I was, I think, 18, going on 19 years old. The whole time that we've been together, he's always been in pain, suffered from migraine headaches. You get these what I call zingers and zappers, or like little electric pulses that shoot, you know, at certain parts of your body you know, all day long. There's one here, and then there's, there's one behind your eye, and then there's one in your head, and there's one behind your knee, and one in your toe, one in your thigh, one in your bicep. It, they're just all over, and you're like, this is... A lot of falls. Um, he's broke his back three times since 2006. Suffered blows to the head from those falls. We've moved out of places just because, you know, it was too mountainy or too hilly or too rocky. Emergency room visits just his quality of life was slipping away. Through the years, they don't really know anything. So you just go the same, you go through the same stuff. You're, you're constantly being told there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. The last couple of years have been very tough on me. I've gone through again a point where I was teetering on uh, possibly losing my legs, I think, probably forever. You know, the last year and a half have been very tough on me and my family. But it was mostly every day it was bad. You know, I was probably in my room, in bed, you know, just laying there, just, you know, resting or whatever, you know, five out of seven days a week. You know, which is, it's not just hard on me, it's hard on my family. I figured there's just, there's just no way I'm going to give up. So I did a lot of research and I found Dr. Rader. I found the stem cells, the miracle of stem cells. Uh, I sit here before you now five weeks to the day after receiving the stem cells and uh, I can't even tell you, uh, you know, how excited I am. My whole life is, is completely changed. He is already different. He's better. He has absolutely no pain. He hasn't had one headache. So I went from not being able to curl, you know, to even uh, pick up a drink and, and drink it um, was, was really hard. Um, I've gone from now being able to curl nothing with either arm to three pounds on the left arm and five pounds on the right. And I actually can see my bicep actually responding now. He has energy, he has a life. I have a life back because he has his life back. To know him without pain, I don't know that man. And I'm so thankful because now my children, his children, his grandbabies, are a part of his life again because he's not laying in bed all day. My legs actually feel for the first time in so many years, I can't even tell you, feel like they're underneath me now. I had one on this exercise bike that I've tried to get on before. We've had it for a few years and I did five miles. Well, two days ago, I did 26 miles. I started getting pretty exhausted at like the 22, 23 mile range, but I still had the energy. I still had the, the oomph, you know, like that push the drive. I haven't had any of that so long. My whole life is, is completely changed. What Dr. Rader did for me in these stem cells, uh, like I said, is nothing less than miraculous. These three children have muscular dystrophy, the disease for which the Jerry Lewis Labor Day Telethon has raised one and one half billion dollars for over the last 40 years. With all of that research, and all of that monetary investment, 
there has been nothing discovered to help these children. What you have been watching are the successful results of Dr. William Rader's treatment with fetal cells. All three children are supposed to be in wheelchairs by now, and then eventually to become completely paralyzed, dying within their teens. <laughs> Look at them now. This little girl's name is Samantha. Samantha was born a normal, happy, healthy baby. Then tragedy struck. Samantha came down with a very rare, fatal genetic disease called cocaine syndrome. Her parents were told by their doctor that some of her many symptoms would include a progressive destruction of her brain, a constant and severe tremor, seizures, a significant hearing loss, and her appearance slowly changing into that of an old woman. The doctor also said that Samantha would never be able to walk and all of her symptoms would continually worsen until she would be gone by her seventh birthday. Happy birthday to you. Molly, then we can take the picture. Samantha was treated by Dr. William Rader with the fetal stem cells on May 31st, 2008 three months before the dreaded seventh birthday. Samantha is now nine years old and continues to get better every day. Children with cocaine syndrome never get better. They only get worse. Samantha and her parents now have hope. They say that these parents, for example, are taking desperate measures. They're not taking desperate measures. They have researched this. Some of them have talked to me for months before they decide to come. What we have just shared was taken from letters and home movies sent by just a few of the over 1,500 patients successfully treated with fetal stem cells by Dr. William Rader. These terminally ill patients could not wait for the results of double-blind studies or to hear the research done on mice. These are not rodents. These are human beings. Which of them would you choose to receive a placebo instead of the life-saving fetal stem cells. Sadly, until this treatment is allowed in the United States, terminally ill people with many of these diseases will continue to perish. Stem cell research may eventually lead to a cure, not only for juvenile diabetes, but also for Alzheimer's disease, cancer, heart disease, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, spinal cord injuries, and other serious conditions. There are so many diseases that can be cured or at least helped. We've lost so much time already and I just really can't bear to lose any more. <laughs>